What is up guys, it is Bob Blah Blah and today I want to talk about Blackout, the awesome new mode that Treyarch has come up with. We'll start you off with a pretty sweet sniper shot. I love it when I find a guy sitting still. It's the only time I can actually land a sniper shot because my aim is so bad. But uh, I just want to give you my quick thoughts and review of this game and uh, I'll start off with very simple, watch this, watch this, come on, come on baby, boom, headshot. Um, I really like the game, I'm insanely impressed that Treyarch was able to pull this off. Uh, they were able to make this game in about a year, most people think, and it's actually incredibly playable, plays very smooth, not perfect by any means, but it really, I think it's the second best BR game already. I think it's better than PUBG, better than H1Z1. Of course, those games cater to some different strengths, so uh, we'll see how each one holds up, but I'm just, I'm very impressed. I think it's amazing, um, but I'm going to give you my overall good points, bad points, that type of thing. The gameplay, this first one is a major choke gameplay. I get like five or six kills or something. And you'll see, I'll walk you through it when it happens. But I just, I choke the finish. And then another one's a win. Uh, overall, I'm pretty good at the game. I'm not great. I played it on PS4 and Xbox. I got seven solo wins and a duos win. I think my KD in solos is right around three when I ended. So overall, pretty good. Not amazing. But uh, but overall, I, I got some wins, so it felt good. A lot of chokes, though. A lot of chokes. My end game is very bad. So let's go into the pluses. Number one, 60 frames per second. Really big deal. They did it. The game runs smooth. Yes, of course, occasionally we run into some lag, but overall ran smooth. Uh, the graphics. I'm going to put this as a plus. A lot of people are going to give it a minus because the uh, graphics are obviously not as good as normal Call of Duty, but you have to. I mean, you're talking about a giant world, 100 players. You're going to have to tone down the graphics. I'm so happy they chose to tone down the graphics rather than uh, do the opposite, which would be lower the frame rate or, you know, that, I hate that. I hate that. I love the smooth frame rate. Um, what else is good? The maps. It is so cool how they integrated all these old maps. Maybe they did it just to be lazy and it was easier than designing new maps. I don't care. The nostalgia is great. I love running around and seeing things. Uh, the creativity they use, like if you look at the Nuketown bunker, it's awesome. Like the, the amount of thought and effort that went into things like that in this game and that's all over the place is just great. Um, the weapon balancing is good. There's nothing too insanely overpowered. Uh, the legendary weapons are good, but not crazy. So that's great. Uh, the um, the looting system's really bad. I was going to get my bad things in a second, but the looting is very slow, also very laggy. I had a lot of issues with lag when I was looting, which would cause me to take even longer to loot when it would already take sometimes 10 seconds, so that was annoying. But uh, but overall, I mean, the game just it runs really awesome. So here we go to the end game, guys. You'll see, uh, if you look at where I am, almost the entire circle is over water. So I know, okay, they've got to be coming this way, right? Nope. Turns out two of the guys are down below me under on the cliffs, and I could have finished this game. You'll see this. I could have finished it right here if I would have switched to my sniper. I probably could have just finished the game if I would have taken my time with my shots. Instead, I let this guy live through this amazingly because I'm so bad at shooting, and I didn't pull out my sniper and take my time. He did have a lot of armor, but so he lives, and then when I finally see him again as the circle starts shrinking, instead of using my sniper and taking my time, I rush my shot and watch this. This is just embarrassing. I just get destroyed, like, instantly. Watch how fast I die. He must have headshot me. Props to him. Good shot. But, oh, my God. Both those guys were just down over the edge of the cliffs. I should have won that game. But, oh, well, sometimes you just play bad. So, um, really, I just like the game. It's fun. It's a well-done BR. Uh, not a huge amount of complaints. But I'm, I'm going to go deep into one, and that's armor. Everyone is complaining about the armor. At least everyone who's vocal, which tends to be good players, Armor is, is pretty bad in this game. Like, the difference, if you have no armor, you're basically dead. Like, literally everyone with armor is twice, has twice the defense in you, basically twice the health. So you're going to lose almost all of them to gunfights. you got to shoot them from the side or the back or you have no chance. If you have no armor and someone else is level 3, it's better to, like, be the guy with armor even if you can jump and start shooting in the back. That's how important armor is. Um, they've said they're going to tweak it. I sure hope they do. Now, you have to understand... Armor's in this game for one reason. It's skill balancing. That's why it's here. It's here to give bad players a chance. And and I understand that. Like, this game has a pretty high skill gap. You've seen it. Like, some of the good players have, like, 50% win rates in this game, which is insane. I'm at a 10% win rate, and that's probably high. I think over time, I'd probably be a 5% win rate. So the highly skilled players would win almost every game if things like armor weren't in the game. Armor, uh, the war machine, things like that. These are skill levelers, and I'm all kind of okay with that. I think there has to be something in the game for bad players to get an edge over good players, or else people are just going to get bored. People, Bad players are going to move on because they'll never win. I do think they just need to tone it down. 
There's no reason it needs to be a storm. By the way, here's one way to kill a guy with armor. Uh, just creep up on him. And uh, and by the way, this next shot is the longest sniper shot I hit. I thought it was pretty good. He's uh, you just I, as long as they're sitting still. As long as I get a brief second where they're sitting still, I can usually size up a shot. But uh, I've missed so many quick scopes in this game. Very very few have I hit. But I thought this was pretty nice. And a sniper shot, by the way, in this game is so so satisfying. It feels so good. It's just awesome. Um, so back to armor. They just need to tone it down. I think max armor should be the equivalent of like 250 maybe 300 health which is still a lot but more reasonable right now the difference between having level 3 armor and no armor you might as well just quit the game if you're a guy without armor there's no point you have to get so lucky to get the kill it's just ridiculous um the we uh, vehicles are done really well it's amazing how easy the vehicles are dry to drive are it's so much easier in the battlefield i don't know why they just made it really simple anyone can get on and drive driving the atvs around you know hitting jumps and just just flying it's just a blast it's really fun running over people is awesome the big truck i'm not a big fan of they made it a little too slow i mean it is ridiculously slow uh, but the helicopters balance are pretty easy to shoot down um, but they do help you get to point A to point B pretty cool. Um, even the zombies I like. Like the zombies they did well. Uh, by the way, this is uh, one of my victories. And you'll see this guy has the high ground on me. I have no idea how I live through this. This guy's got a great shot. He just annihilates me. The second I show my head, he's just like pinging me instantly. So, um, But I managed to win the gunfight. Pure luck. But I will take it. So, uh, so yeah, overall, guys, I love the game. I want to know your thoughts. I think it's great. Um, I'm still going to play multiplayer. I'm still going to play a lot of multiplayer. In fact, I think I will probably prefer multiplayer to this. BR is awesome, but it's just a little too stressful for me. I really like to win, so only winning 5 or 10% of the time is kind of stressful for me. God, this guy just will not stop shooting me. So um, I'm going to play probably a lot more multiplayer than Battle Royale, but I'm definitely going to play this mode a lot. And every time they do an update, I'll probably play it a bunch to try and uh, get some wins underneath each new set of rules, that kind of thing. But overall, I really liked it. I'm super impressed that Treyarch was able to pull this off between this and the multiplayer. I cannot wait for the release date. Uh, the only tough part will be the opening day. Which one do I play? I'll probably play Control just because that's what my friends want to play, and uh, and I do enjoy that. But um, but overall, just just a great job with them. And, like I said, if they tweak the armor, get the lag a little bit better, uh, make a few tweaks to, to loot rates, things like that, I think this game is going to have a long life. And Treyarch looks very committed at, uh, at supporting the game and keeping it alive. They've seen the success Fortnite has with that model, and I really think they're going to follow through and do that. So here we go. We're down to the nitty-gritty. This guy has to jump down, so I go out. Boom, this guy pretty much outplayed me the entire gunfight, but he and he got me down super low, but he wasn't able to get me. So it's just another victory. Feels good. Doesn't happen often, so it feels good. Uh, that's it for the video, guys. If you liked it, please hit that like button. Um, I plan on posting at least one more Blackout video soon. And then I did tack on the end here a clip. Um, I just like running over people, and I thought it was funny. So that's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys later. Take it easy.